Wow, what a morning. Um, it is my joy, our joy, to welcome back uh, the Reverend Dr. Walter Brown, uh, who is with us this morning. Again, Walter comes to speak with us uh, each session, and uh, we value him and his voice in our community. Walter's on the IWS Board of Trustees, and he's senior pastor of Bethany Ministries here in Jacksonville, and also bishop of the Kingdom Minded Association of Churches. And we look forward to hearing from Walter this morning. Welcome, Walter. Thank you. Thank you. 
specimen of what it means to be in God's sight a human. Borrowing from the message version of the Bible, I was mired by the sin. I let the world tell me how to live. I polluted my lungs with unbelief and other things that shall go unnamed. And I exhaled disobedience. I don't know about you, but I did it all. And as I wallowed in this charred, smoldering state, God's grace found me. Mm, mm, mm. In the text, that grace is ever the genesis of great hope. Listen to this potent description of how God in Christ responds to our sinful conditions. Rather than become angry, God looked upon what I had made of my smoldering incense self and made me over. Any made over people in the congregation? Anybody want to give God praise for making us over? Now watch this now. I, I know you're watching, but that's just a preaching jargon. <laughs> Jesus made me over because Jesus has the blueprints, the architectural plans, even and expect the wherewithal to do it. Look at the smiling face of Jesus. So many see him bitter and indisposed, but he was a joyous person. And this may be just for me, I don't know about you, but sometimes he has had to make me over and over and over and over and over again. And the blueprint Jesus used was the Bible. My friend Dennis Andrews would say, here's the deal. I sometimes have the nerve, maybe it's just me, to try and take credit for what God has done and what Jesus is doing in my life. When only the builder, God in Christ, deserves the praise. Again to the text. He took our sin-dead lives and made us alive in Christ. He did this on his own with no help from us. Let that ruminate. No help from us. Then he picked us up and set us down in heaven company with Jesus our Messiah. Now God has us where he wants us. With all the time in this world and the next to shower grace and kindness upon us in Christ Jesus. It's God's gift from start to finish. We don't play a major role. If we did, we'd probably go around bragging that we'd done the whole thing by ourselves. When Peterson wrote this, he must have had me in mind. No, neither do we make or save ourselves. Do you know how sometimes I try to take credit for what God has done? And this is just important even in the things that he's done after the makeover. I worked hard for my degrees. I did. I achieved success. I have. I have titles. That's true. I give. I'm still giving. I help. I won't ever stop. But these things were done only by God's grace. Listen to the lyrics of Scott Wesley Brown. Every promise we can make. Every prayer or step of faith, every difference we can make is only by his grace. Every mountain we can climb, every ray of hope we shine, every blessing left behind is only by his grace. Grace alone which God supplies, strength unknown he will provide. Christ in us, our cornerstone, we will go forth if grace alone. 
Hear the words of the psalmist in 7328, but as for me, how good it is to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my shelter, and I will tell everyone about the wonderful things you do. I'll conclude with the words of Tremaine Hawkins in her beautiful lyrics about restoration and change. A change, a change has come over me. He changed my life and now I'm free. He washed away all my sins and he made me whole. He washed me white as snow. He changed my life complete and now I sit at his feet. A wonderful change has come over me. Message version, Ephesians, it wasn't so long ago that you were mired in that old stagnant life of sin. You let the world, which doesn't know the first thing about living, tell you how to live. You fill your lungs with polluted unbelief and then exhale disobedience. We did it all. All of us doing what we felt like doing when we felt like doing it. And all of us in the same boat. It's a wonder God didn't lose his temper and do away, do away with the whole lot of us. Instead, immense in mercy and with an incredible love, he embraced us. He took our sin-dead lives and made us alive in Christ. He did all of this on his own with no help from us. Then he picked us up and set us in the highest heaven in company with Jesus, our Messiah. Now God has us where he wants us. And with all the time in this world and the next, to shower grace and kindness upon us in Christ Jesus. Saving is all his idea, his work, and we do in trust in him enough to let him do it. It's God's gift from start to finish. If we did, we'd probably go around bragging about the whole thing. No, we need to make or save ourselves. God does both the making and saving. He creates us by Christ in the work he does, the good work he has gotten ready us to do, work we had better been doing. Would you prepare for prayer? Please stand.